Hello, and welcome to today's book chat. So today I'm going to be talking about the novel Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris. And so when I picked up this novel, I knew absolutely nothing about it. I picked it up because I had seen it on the Goodreads Reader's Choice uh, nominees, and Kindle sent me an advertisement for a good deal, and I figured, hey, let's go with that. Advertising works. So it's going to be a little hard to talk about this novel without giving spoilers. Uh, so I will let you know when some of those come in, but I will definitely not give anything too far advance and certainly nothing that you probably couldn't have figured out from reading the blurb anyways. So I had a lot of mixed feelings about Behind Closed Doors and a lot of that stemmed, I think, from the writing style. When the novel started, I was not very engaged. I guess that's the best way to put it. The writing seemed extremely simplistic. It seemed somewhat unbelievable. Uh, the dialogue was really bothering me. It felt very forced. And I was tempted to put it aside, but it takes a lot for me to put a book aside. And the fact that this novel was nominated, I thought, you know what, I'm going to keep on trying. And about halfway through, all those thoughts that I had about the novel switched uh, and it felt almost if like the writing style switched. So I believe that it was intentional by the author and I can certainly see reasons why she would have chose to make it that way. So this is where, uh, well, no, I'm not giving away spoilers yet. So just to set the scene, uh, the novel is about a man named Jack and a woman named Grace. It is from Grace's perspective. And Grace and Jack, by all those around them, are viewed to be the perfect couple. Uh, Jack is suave and successful and Grace is elegant and hospitable and doesn't speak her mind for the most part, which makes some of her friends wonder. So this is where some of those spoilers come in. Um, this novel deals a lot with, I mean, domestic abuse is too simplistic a word. Uh, domestic slavery is more what you would call it. And it looks at a situation that is terrifying because it's possible. And earlier on in the novel, I wondered, I think part of what made me not embrace it is it seemed so unbelievable, but as more of the story unfolded, I realized the ways in which this situation could happen. Uh, Grace had a sister named Millie who had Down syndrome, I believe, and her love and devotion for her sister was what enabled Jack to take advantage of her to such um, a degree. And again, I won't go too deeply into that. But the novel really looked at the ways in which outward appearances don't necessarily reflect inward circumstances. And it was gripping at times, and especially near the end. Not that it was overly surprising or suspenseful, but it just had me wanting to know, how is this going to work out? Um, there was nothing over, too surprising about the ending outside of, no, it wasn't too surprising, but it was satisfying because it seemed plausible and it seemed possible. And I was definitely rooting for this character and loved the way that Paris showed her from being seemingly weak and seemingly accepting of her fate to someone who was able to step up and do what it took to save not only herself, but her sister. So yeah, I think I've gone on long enough, but Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris, it was, once you push through the beginning, it becomes an endanger, engaging read and something that really can make you think uh, about the choices people make, about the perceptions that abound around who we put out into the world, who we put ourselves out as, and who others do, and the fact that what we perceive to be someone's life doesn't necessarily reflect their experience. So yeah, hopefully that was intelligible. I feel a little mixed about this book at points, and it's hard to, as I said, speak about it without giving too much away. But Behind Closed Doors by B.A. Paris. If you want to check it out, you can head over to my website where I'll put links for you to get more information. And you also can sign up for my mailing list and get the first two books in my women's fiction series for free. These books deal with, I think, really human characters. 
the thing that readers have said the most to me about them is that they feel real. They feel like these women could be your friend, your neighbor, your sister, and sometimes yourself. And that is something that I did see a little bit in B.A. Paris's novel. I could see how a woman in Grace's situation could, life situation before she met Jack, get into a situation where what happened in the novel happens. <laughs> All right, so check it out, charlinecar.com, and have a wonderful day.